okay, we're going to start a new title. And we're starting a new title. And I'm going to go with Carlos Lunch. That's one of my new stories I've created. So we'll just type that in after we clicked on the link that says start title. There's subtitle. That's like, for example, you have Patty LaBelle's cookbook. In parentheses, it will say, Southern Style Fried Chicken. <laughs> it's for that. A subtitle is not necessary. However, you can use it if you want. Subtitle can be like how I had my title was lyrics from scratch. Then underneath, I had other words like a poetry book or something. It's kind of like that. A subtitle is nothing more than a parenthesis. So like, you know, Slim Shady parentheses Eminem so it just gives uh, a little bit more of an elaboration on your story so there's the title which is Carla's lunch however I didn't have a subtitle with that and then underneath you'll see primary author that's you you do not have to put your real name there I chose to use a pseudonym aka a pen name my pen name p-e-n name is la understood so I put la understood there the only time you will have to really use your real name, like your social security name, is when you go into the part and set up your tax form and your checking deposit section where you get all your royalties transferred to you. That's the only time where you really use your real name. However, primary author, you can use your pen name there and it will come up on your physical book as that. And when you get your royalties, it you know, the checks or whatever will be, will be sent to your social security name. So you still can use, you know, you still, everything will be clear. A primary name can be a pen name. I chose LA Understood. Underneath there, you will see add contributors. For example, my third book I'm working on, it is another poetry book. I have two out now, but my third one, I'm going to, it's going to be more of a collaboration. I will be having like my sister's involvement in it. They'll be, you know, sharing pictures and whatever they see fit that suits the topic of my story, of my poetry book. Whatever they see fit that suits, it will be going into there. So that's when I add their names because they're contributing to the cause. So my sister's names will go into the contributor section. So having said that, once again, the contributor is only necessary if you have additional people helping example if you want your brother or little brother or sister to draw the cover for your book design then he or she will be a contributor because that is something major that affects the event of your book so you'll put his or her name down there or if there's a a piece in the book and your whole class wrote it you can put that in there. However, if this book is just a solo based situation, which Carla lunch, Carla's lunch is where I had no help in it, involvement in it like that, then your, your name just goes there and you don't have to add anything to the contributors, but that's what it's for. If you had someone helping you and you want to give credit with the cover, the editing, adding poetry, adding their own art, that's what it's for. Underneath ad contributors, you will see, what is this? I'm just playing. <laughs> After that, you will see this book is part of a series. Carla's Lunch is not a part of a series. However, Artifera is a part of a series. So now we've covered a series of events within this first page alone. And I believe that I've explained it well so you guys can feel comfortable when you start in on your own. We've covered series titles, which is kind of like an encyclopedia, which falls under other books within that same category, such as Artifera, there's the Chronicles of Narnia, there's the um, Twilight. It's, you know, one book, but same series or, you know, like that. So we have edition, edition number, edition number, and... This is my first time ever publishing Carla's Lunch, ever publishing it, so this will be my first edition. However, 
if I see fit in a few years from now and I want to jazz up the cover and change it to keep in with the signs of the times, I will change the cover to make it look a little more hip, a little more modern. So then when I go back into this program again, I will update Carla's Lunch. The same wordage will be in there. However, the cover will be different from the original. So that will be addition two. Or addition two can also be like, I did Carla's lunch and it's like, I'm going to change something in it. If it's something very imperative to the book that people are going to really notice, then you'll have to make the change and then that will be a second edition. Editions come out like that if you want to change the cover or if you want to add something very vital in there. But if it's something little like I forgot a couple of T's or something like that, you know, no. Um... But the computer with this program will, I think, for some reason, it will signify that it will be a second edition, even though you made a tiny little change. But there's a way around that. You can just, uh, I believe, delete the original one and put your small edition up or something like that. But basically, just trying to give you a proximity of what's going on so you'll feel a little more comfortable in a nutshell, in addition, it's just things like that. So when you make changes on it, of course, it's different. So it's number two or number three or number four, like take one, take two, take three. Therefore, I had to take the time and fill out that section. It, it wasn't really a major issue, but it's just an example that Artifera is a part of a, Artifera is a, part of a series that comprises of three, three books in that series. Um, the title of this series is The Icon Chronicles, and there's three books, Artifera, Octavius, and then there's a third one that I'll be announcing sometime in life to, to wrap up that. So I had to check, you know, a series for those books because, you know, they fell under another thing, like The Chronicles of Narnia. It is, it's one per se, but there's several volumes underneath that category. Just like Twilight, it's not just one book. In a way, it's a, a volume, like an encyclopedia, a series of, of that. It falls under the category, but it's a different series is all. Next, next up there is the next there is the language. So you choose what language you've typed your selection in. Being that this is a this covers a broad platform like worldwide. You know, I just mentioned it because, you know, Create Space, if you typed it in Japanese, you can type that the text is in Japanese. However, I speak English, so I wrote my story in English, but you can drop down that box and state whichever preference language. There's the publication date. If you click on that arrow, a date will come up like any other calendar on any pipe up pop-up module, and you can specify when you published your book or the year. There's the Create Space ISBN. It's basically the barcode that's going to be printed off in the back of your of your book. When you're first starting out, I think it's best to just stick with their assigned barcode opposed to making your own. All right, now we've gotten that part covered. We're moving on. There's the physical properties. You have the interior type which means the inside of the book, whether your book is going to be a plain old black and white or full color like a children's book. Then you can choose which size book you want. They also recommend the size that they feel is best for you to choose, but however, you can choose whatever size you want. Page color means if you want white pages or cream. I prefer the white color, the white pages because the words pop better. The cream makes the book looks aged. So those are my two opinions, self-explanatory. Okay, so B I S A C category. When you push choose, um, the first the first chart will say like you will have to state the, the category your book is. Is it fantasy, fiction, historical, educational, um, a textbook? Once you determine that, it will then take you to another category. So if it's a fiction book, for example, Carla's Lunch is Fiction, so I clicked Fiction. 
Okay, guys, I'm, I'm outside now. It's nice, so I'm going to continue on. You might hear hammers and saws. The neighbors on both sides of me are working on something. So now we're going to move down to the PDF interior file. Now with CreateSpace, they only take P, um, what is it, PDF format. That, you know, I had some issues with that. Only complaining because the computer I had, I was having technical difficulties with the PDF um, convergence convergency or what have you so I ended up having to get a outside source to you know convert my files redownload them into my computer but it's really not a big issue it takes PDF so once you're done just convert your your story your completed manuscript into that and voila it'll pop up as so we're gonna move forward I'm skipping the bleed part um, to the cover creator I like that because they offer pictures that are free so you can design your story the way you want it to be or you can provide your own. Both will be free. There's the um the the description. You put what you want your story to be about right there. And they give you a box of 4000 characters and then we have the B-I-S-A-C category, which is nothing more than the genre, <laughs> however you say, G-E-N-R-E. So once again, so the B-I-S-A-C, so for example, for Carlos Lunch, the first category was either, they'll have you choose if it's fiction, historical, fact. Um, my, my story is a fiction so once I clicked fiction, it took me over to another um, category and column of stuff to pick from, such as comedy, um, science fiction, and then there's categories within the science fiction, then um, and other topics. So I ended up choosing my story was is a fiction comedy. And then I believe I had another option to choose, but that's all it is. The basics category is just picking a category so it can be found easier when people look for a certain type of book in the library. I want a romance. I want an action adventure. I want a sci-fi romance, blah, blah, blah. That's all that part is for. Next up, we have the author biography. You can add that on there if you want to. I don't think I toyed around with that part before, so I really don't know how to answer that, but except to say I think it's just a, a biography that goes along with the website. Once your book is up and published, I'm thinking it'll just show a profile of you and, you know, like, let's meet the author. I'm really not sure. I really haven't used that author biography part before. Book language. Um, you know, I speak English, but there's other options, which is cool because this Create Space provides a platform for a lot of races, and it's worldwide. So if you wrote your book in Korean, you click that. Country of publication, United States, but once again, it's worldwide. So from whatever corner of the world you're in, all you have to do is click on the drop box and you click on whichever country you published your book from. Keywords. I'm not sure if it's necessary or not, but it's basically like hashtagging. So whatever your book is about, you pretty much just drop a hashtag there. But instead of putting the literal hashtag or pound sign in front of the word, you just write the word and separate it with a comma. That's it. So keyword search keywords is just a hashtag so people can find your book. And if it's it contains adult content I'll have to leave that up to you whether or not you check it because I don't know Carlos lunch isn't so I didn't check it large print you have to physically go into your manuscript and change your font of your words um, to 18 point or higher that will be considered a uh, large print which I, I learned myself I had to google too because I, I actually made a large print version of Carla's lunch however I'm not sure which publisher if it was with here or Lulu but I had to physically highlight my whole manuscript and change the font to 18 then click large print it don't make your stuff large print just by clicking large print you have alright guys thanks for watching I'm gonna stop the video right there because we're going into the 15 minute mark now 
I appreciate you taking the time to listen, and I feel that this will give you guys a big boost on where to go. Thanks a lot.